Fascinating. Hello, so this is a quick overview of what we will be achieving in this workshop. Now, this workshop was originally prepared for a webinar with Fabrice Burelli, and we're using a scene that's available from evermotion.org, this kind of container park scene. And let me have a run through and I'll demonstrate what we will be achieving by the end of this workshop playlist. So we'll learn how to add a logo to our scene, but we can make that an interactive button that helps us brand the experience, but also acts as a way in. So we can navigate the scene as normal, but then we can launch a menu and interact with that menu and use it to trigger fly throughs. We'll create dynamic widgets that derive captions over the film. And we can let that play out for a second and just get to the end of that scene. And then we can start looking at introducing overlays. So here I've got a checkbox, which now I can see which units are available and interact with those markers that are placed in 3D space that are being projected to a 2D HUD or widget over the scene. So that's one example for availability. I've also created one that helps us look at facilities and we can click through. And this is a single widget that is loading in the information dynamically based on the widgets we've selected in the world. So we'll cover all of that in this workshop. We'll also demonstrate how to animate a menu, opening it and closing it. And also loading levels so we can change our scene. We have sliders here that can affect the time of day therefore the shadows and just another one purely to demonstrate what we can achieve so here I'm actually sharpening the image and we can have a combination of that we can have all of those layers on and then play our fly through again and it just now is the fly through which is augmented with layers of information so I can click on information should I want it And there we are, that's what we'll be looking at today. Live long and prosper.